Tunisia is a nurturing land which has a 3,000-year-old history. Each plot of its fertile soil bears the seal of succeeding civilizations, resulting in a rich mosaic of colors and savors, which attest to the rich diversity of its historical heritage. Its agricultural heritage reflects this diversity and richness. Indeed, Tunisia, the Proconsularis Africa, bore the title of Granary of Rome because the yields of its soil were so abundant, so varied and so famous for their quality that they served to feed the entire Roman Empire. Olive oil has always been an integral part of the culinary and medicinal traditions of the civilizations that successively came to Tunisia. In the اهتموا اهتماما كبيرا كبيرا بالزيتونه ومن بين من اقدم واعرق علماء الفلاحه في المتوسط مش فقط في بلادنا في تونس هو ما يسمى بماجون ماجون هو ماجون كان اول من وضع من موسوعه في فن الزراعه لكن اهتم اهتماما كبيرا بالزيتونه نظرا لدورها العظيم في حياة إنسان أول غابة زيتين في الساحل التونسي وفي ربما في الجمهورية التونسية حاليا هو تلك الأشجار التي غرسها جنود حنا بعد لما كان مقيما في مدينة سوسة قبيل معركة زاما الشهيرة. Hawariya, which is located at the tip of the Gabon, this long arm of Tunisia, boasts the most beautiful Tunisian terraces that look onto the Mare Nostrum. Standing on hills swept by the wind are giant windmills, a reminder that today's Tunisia has opted for clean and renewable energy. Some distance away, precisely at Shraf, stands like a wise man, an olive tree, which according to some historians is 2,500 years old. Perennially green and productive, it is the magical illustration of the paramount importance of the cultivation of olive trees in the history of Tunisia, and one of the symbols that bestowed the name of Green Tunisia on this country. It's wonderful that we have gemeinsam on this place, the oldest olive tree Tunesiens kennenlernen können, der 2500 Jahre alt ist. Das schaffen wir alle nicht. Er kam zu Zeiten der Phönizier und ich denke, wir sagen Dankeschön, dass wir kommen durften, obwohl hier heute ein besonderer Tag ist. Schukre. Olive tree cultivation has traditionally been Bali meaning dry cultivation solely irrigated by rainwater and fertilized by natural processes. Today, more than 95% of the 70 million olive trees in Tunisia undergo this process. This is what explains their legendary long life. ومحاسنها من بعل أي من من أكبر آلهة القرطاجية في ذلك العصر. تونسية هي الرئيس العالمي للتنمية في إنتاج الأشجار البيولوجية. هذا البلد يعاني من الحروب الشعبية والحروب الشعبية. الله أعطى أن تونسيا هي بلد زراعي طبيعي. إذا أردتم أن تنظروا شوية في الأرض، 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 إذا أردتم أن c'est-à-dire un hectare, c'est 17 pieds d'olivier. Et pourquoi c'est cette distance-là Parce qu'il n'y a pas assez d'eau. Et l'olivier a besoin d'espace pour pomper un peu d'eau pour qu'elle puisse résister à ce climat-là. The geographic location, the climatic and environmental conditions and the lengthy agricultural tradition are at the origin of the organic vocation of Tunisia. Given its assets in this domain and the great potential offered by the organic sector, Tunisia has adopted a strategy for the development of the latter as part of a process of sustainable and fair development. Organic farming is developing greatly in Tunisia in light of a futuristic vision. The model bio Tunisian that we conceive is a new model with a new philosophy and with a new approach. Ce modèle-là est concrétisé dans les bioterritoires tunisiens qui sont lancés par les cinq zones pilotes qui ont été déjà choisies et qui ont commencé donc à être mises en place. La crédibilité de ce secteur a été 
euh, reconnu à l'échelle internationale euh, par euh, l'équivalence qui a été donc décernée à la Tunisie pour son euh, secteur de l'agriculture biologique, dans son système de contrôle, dans son système de développement et euh, cette reconnaissance par la Commission européenne est très importante, c'est une reconnaissance indéterminée. L'équivalence a été aussi attribuée euh, par euh, la Confédération suisse. C'est un développement qui va jusqu'au local, c'est un développement rural, mais qui est articulé autour d'autres secteurs d'activité, tout comme l'agrotourisme, comme euh, euh, la culture, comme l'artisanat, comme l'agroalimentaire, comme le développement des filières et des chaînes de valeur. Donc c'est un modèle de vie que nous visons. Tunisia, which enjoys the status of a leader in the olive oil world market, is going all out to promote one of its leading emblematic products, which is the green gold. In this momentum, Tunisian organic olive oil has made spectacular advances in the world market. As an indication regarding organic olive oil, Tunisia is today the largest supplier of the United States of America and the European Union, where it is greatly appreciated. <laughs> 30,000 ton من زيت الزيتون البيولوجي زيت الزيتون هذا اليوم بلغ أكثر من 50 وجهة عبر العالم الخصائص هي كونه أول حاجة المناخ الحاجة الثانية هي زيت الزيتون التونسي جاي من ثمرات مقطوفة باليد ويقولوا بالإنجليزية he take he takes care on the olives يعني هو يرد باله يعني يمسها الزيتونة بكل بكل لطف وبكل حذر حتى ما ما يخبش هاش وما وما يوذي هاش زيت الزيتون التونسي البيولوجي عنده خصائص كيميائية فيما يخص معناها إلى ريش معناها كما نقولوا أن أنتي أكسيدا إلى ريش عن فيتامين أ عنا هدف الهدف هو نحبه نكثف من غراسات زيت الزيتون البيولوجي Olive oil is produced through cold extraction and then stored in stainless steel tanks under an inert nitrogen atmosphere to protect it from air and light. In order to allow it to keep its organoleptic quality and especially its unique fruity taste with a slight bitterness and its nutritional characteristics. Thanks to these strengths, the Tunisian organic olive oil brands are developing and reinforcing their positions by entering the most demanding markets. We have a sector that is very well structured. Today, we have des laboratories that are even agreed by the Conseil of l'École International to do the analysis of the olive oil. D'autant plus that plus que le secteur privé il est bien rodé. Et il y a ce qu'on appelle la traçabilité qui est très bien respectée par les différents opérateurs. Et ceci donne beaucoup de crédibilité. Et aujourd'hui, on ne voit que des succès et une croissance de nos ventes en produits biologiques dans le monde entier. Les produits bio sont en croissance de 15 à 20 par année dans le monde entier. Tout le secteur est en train d'opérer pour euh, promouvoir et améliorer les, euh, la production des, des produits agricoles en général, et en particulier les, euh, les huiles d'olive euh, biologiques. Olive oil bottling plants are one of the perfect examples of the high level of excellence reached by the organic olive oil sector in Tunisia. The whole production chain is closely monitored and controlled by qualified teams from the delivery of the fresh olives to the control of the bottled olive oil in internal quality control laboratories. La Tunisie, euh, c'est un terrain favorable euh, pour les produits bio, que ce soit huile d'olive ou autres produits. Donc nous, on a vu l'opportunité, on a vu que c'est une niche de marché très importante pour le pays et pour notre organisme. La certification bio a été facilitée par un fameux projet euh, qu'on a qui s'appelle l'intégration de l'origine, c'est-à-dire être proche des agriculteurs et des huileries. Notre équipe... Euh, qualité approvisionnement, a fait l'assistance technique à une cinquantaine d'agriculteurs et à une vingtaine d'huileries pour être certifiés bio. On a développé et actualisé notre laboratoire par les, les appareillages et l'équipement nécessaires euh, pour faire des analyses 
de conformité que le produit est bien bio. Aussi, on a préparé une unité de stockage exclusivement pour les produits bio, contrôlée par une température pour avoir un produit à fort pouvoir de conservation. Notre unité de mise en bouteille aussi, elle a été adaptée pour faire le conditionnement d'huile bio. Moi, je peux vous dire aujourd'hui qu'on a 97% de nos produits conditionnés sont bio. The huge number of quality certificates obtained by the Tunisian exporters evidence their reliability, their professionalism and good management. La Tunisie est connue par sa production d'huile d'olive. C'est une production qui date depuis très longtemps. Elle est connue par une production qui est traditionnelle. C'est une production où on ne met pas d'intrants. C'est une production qui est de fait principalement organique. Et je peux vous dire que l'huile d'olive tunisienne perce bien et continue à percer sur ces marchés. Nous savons, ce sont les chiffres du Conseil agricole international, que nous exportons plus que 35 000 tonnes sur les États-Unis, dont le biologique prend une part importante. Et ça continue. Et ça continue, et je crois que c'est l'avenir du pays. Organic olive oil comes from trees that have been grown organically for hundreds of years. The industry here generally does not irrigate, does not use fertilizers that are uh, synthetic. It doesn't use pesticides and they don't have many pest problems. So they are able to get hand-picked high-quality olives to make into extra virgin organic olive oil. We know the oils are organic, we know the organic situation is extensive and it's not difficult to do organic extra virgin olive oil here. But the organic olive oils that I have tasted here are in many cases excellent. And what I don't often see with such oils is the true expression of where they come from. These people could actually talk about the terroir and its effect on variety of these organic olive oils and I think that's really exciting for the marketplace. The different varieties that I've tasted have flavors that you get from nowhere else. I don't taste raisins, strawberries, uh, artichoke, that kind of stuff combined in complex oils from other countries. This really is the oil of Tunisia. Considered as a sacred fruit and full of benefits, dates are, along with olive oil, a leading product of Tunisia. Dates indeed come in the second place after olive oil in terms of volume of exports of organic products. Date palms is the main wealth of the Jirit, a southern Tunisian region located on the fringes of the Sahara Desert, which is the most auspicious place for the cultivation of date palms. Palm trees have, so to say, their feet in the water and their heads in the sun, and the wide range of varieties of palm trees produce delicious dates, including the famous Diglet Nur, or Finger of Light. Rich in vitamins and minerals, this mellow fruit with a unique taste contains the essential nutrients our body needs. Potassium, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, iron, and vitamins B, C, and E. Right now, we are in Hazwa, at the confines of the Toza Governorate, and the date harvest is at its peak. In a festive atmosphere, the date producers are busy joyfully collecting the bunches full of the precious fruit, carefully and delicately protected by nets. Agile and clever workers are climbing the date palms, espousing the trunks and embracing them the way one does with a loved one. On the ground, other workers are receiving the bunches while singing a song in gratitude to God the benefactor who has provided them with this precious source of life. Then, the crates are carefully filled with date bunches and taken to the exporters' collecting centers, and from there to the packing stations. In these very busy facilities, the dates are received and then will undergo a series of treatments and packing operations which are strictly controlled by qualified supervisors. Aujourd'hui, notre entreprise, la, la société Bouchebel, est leader au niveau mondial pour l'exportation des dates tunisiennes. Nous exportons 
plus de 12 000 tonnes sur 40 pays au monde. Pour les dates, nous occupons la première place pour la variété des glétenours biologiques. Il faut dire que nous avons un suivi très, très rigoureux par les organismes certificateurs, des opérateurs aussi très conscients de leur mission dans la promotion de ces produits. Pour nous, par exemple, pour les dates, nous avons 13 associations de producteurs. Nous avons 700 agriculteurs qui sont suivis tout le long de l'année par nos agronomes. Et nous avons remarqué une adhésion très importante au niveau des petits producteurs qui deviennent très engagés sur le développement de la production biologique. Nous sommes convaincus que la Tunisie devra devenir un pays référence en matière de production euh, biologique. As with the olive oil, the many certifications which were obtained and notably the organic certificates attest to the involvement and to the competence of the producers as well as to the high quality of the Tunisian products. Olive oil and dates are but two leading products among a large, rich and diversified range of about 250 organic products. Thus, one such product which has undergone a very important development is the cactus fig for its production, its processing and its exportation. We are in Zilfin, in the Governorate of Gasrin, a region famous for its large areas of prickly pear cultivation as well as for the great quality of its fruit. This plant, which can reach three meters in height, is the best adapted to the difficult climatic conditions and to the drought of the region. Therefore, it easily adapts to a sustainable mode of organic production since it necessitates neither chemical fertilizers nor phytosanitary treatment. Hence, numerous efforts were deployed to add value to the cactus fig in this area, notably thanks to the organic certification of fresh and processed products. Special support was given to the farmers of the Greater Zilfin region to help them improve their agricultural practices in terms of harvesting and selection of the product. In the same vein, particular care was given to the role of women in order to integrate them more efficiently into the value chain. The organic cactus figs, which are harvested in these plantations, are packed as fresh fruit or are processed in state-of-the-art plants complying to the international high standards of hygiene. A complete range of organic food and cosmetic products produced from the cactus figs are available today in Tunisia. Fresh fruit, fruit juice and pulp, jams, syrups, grain powder, along with the famous seed oil rich in vitamin E. This miraculous anti-wrinkle product is used as an ingredient in many cosmetic care products. Such nutritional and therapeutic attributes justified the appellation of king of fruits bestowed upon the cactus fig. The Tunisian agricultural and forestry model is evolving towards the promotion of new organic niches. The Tunisian flora boasts more than 2,000 vegetal species which help the medicinal and aromatic plant sector to become one of the best adapted to organic cultivation thanks to the favorable climatic and environmental conditions. Today, Tunisia occupies an important position on the international arena in view of its plants and the high quality of its essential oils such such as thyme, myrtle, rosemary, geranium, jasmine and bitter orange. Right now, we are in Tabuba, a village in northern Tunisia, nesting in the manor of an eagle among the luxurious Nefza forests. Melika, a true human treasure and the forest's memory, is here within her world. She entertains with plants whose secrets are known to her, an intimate and passionate relationship. She transmits her know-how and heritage onto those girls graduated from the university. This encounter between two generations gave birth to a startup specialized in the distillation of medicinal and aromatic plants along with the marketing of organic essential oils. These precious oils are used in the food industry, perfumery, aromatherapy and cosmetics. 
Tunisia is working to ensure a sustainable development of this sector by increasing its international market shares while preserving its forest resources. Producing and consuming organic products is a culture and a way of life which are tending to expand in Tunisia and the rest of the world as demonstrated by the increase in the consumption of organic products. Tunisia does not just sell a quality organic product but it offers a system that guarantees complete traceability and consumer safety while preserving the environment. Land of the organic product, Tunisia, which is reputed for the taste and the good quality of its products, has chosen this model of production to express in this manner its will to ensure a fair and sustainable model of development and thereby to contribute to the preservation of our planet and to bequeath it to our children in a state of well-being.